Breaking news, Donald Trump has just announced that KT McFarland will be a part of his national security team. Who is this person? Why should we worry about it? And oh yeah, we've been telling you to look out for the CFR globalist secret government, and uh, it's here. Yeah, this is not a good sign. This is definitely not a good choice, in my opinion, for Donald Trump to be making uh, this choice as a part of his national security team. McFarland was a former spokesperson for the Pentagon during the Reagan era, and she was currently a Fox News national security analysis. But most importantly, she is also a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. We've been warning you about this for a while. She was also an aide to Henry Kissinger in the 70s. This on the heels of Donald Trump just meeting with Henry Kissinger and Henry Kissinger going on the national stage on CNN and saying that Donald Trump will flip-flop or there will be major disagreements. We've been telling you that the shadow government does exist. It does have tentacles. And we are seeing one of Henry Kissinger's minions just appointed to national security advisor, which is going to be a huge, important role for the next four years of Donald Trump's presidency. At CPAC, it was even labeled how the hawks are taking over the discussion on foreign policy. When KT McFarland was a part of a discussion on Iran, she moderated that discussion and summarized the panel on the policy proposal as regime change, regime change on steroids and bankrupting the bums when talking about the country of Iran. And she indicated that this is her foreign policy view. She even before on Fox News talked about how she's disappointed with Barack Obama not spending more on the military. You know, the special forces, and, and that's the right thing to do. I think he was wrong to cut defense. I think he's going to be really... When you look at the U.S. military budget, the U.S. spends more than the next seven countries combined when it comes to spending money on its military. And Donald Trump is likely to boost U.S. military spending from $500 billion to $1 trillion. Just to give you a little bit of perspective here, about one week of U.S. military spending would wipe out world hunger. Why? Why do we need more? Why do we need CFR globalist Henry Kissinger minions inside of the White House when Donald Donald Trump was running against neoconservatives, the war hawks, when he was running against the globalists who have created all these policies. This does not make America great again. We've been warning you about this. We talked about the decision to appoint Michael Flynn a part of the national security team, which now McFarland will be working with. And we also warned you about the shadow government, the influence of all these secret societies and quasi-secret organizations like the Council on Foreign Relations taking it back and implementing hawkish neoconservatives conservative globalist policies which Donald Trump ran against but now bam make America Bush again it's exactly what we're seeing a very disappointing pick by Donald Trump that should receive the highest level of scrutiny and criticism and you will hear that here on unfiltered independent media so check us out stay tuned because this is a bad choice we're here to call out bad choices we're here to call out the good and the bad we call it like we see it no bias here no freaking conundrum here and just bias when it comes to gothing Trump. Call him like he is. The only way to really make America great again is to be as honest and as truthful as we could be. And that's what we're trying to do here on We Are Change that are Subscribe and support us on patreon.com forward slash we are changed because we're only beholden to you and because we are we can do this job. Thank you again so much for watching. Subscribe.